Hi there friends and welcome to episode 15 of my Rad World series. I'm Icon and today I will rejoice about the fact that we are now six people and we can fully indulge ourselves into building this mountain palace and getting things done here. My plans are now to build up a neat large stockpile of foods and to start to build private quarters for everybody because right now we are well we got Hogan and Holder who have a pretty nice sleeping room but beyond that everything here is pretty much a mess and not too not too beautiful mediocre bedroom slightly impressive bedroom yeah well it could be worse but it also could be a lot better so we dug out this area here almost completely and with it done I want to build up my storage area here somehow. I haven't fully made up my mind about how I will do that, but I already decided that I will do this. And I came up with the idea of creating a workshop area in this room. So we got science workshop, more workshop, and here are the big storage areas. And I guess we will be we will be building up our, our living areas somewhere here. I think that might be a good choice. <laughs> the fertile soil spots here, well, okay, they're not really fertile soil. They're just soil in general, <laughs> will be used for us. And I also want to research hydroponics as quick as possible and batteries because I'm very, very curious to see if we are able to build, uh, to grow glow stools in hydroponics, just like you guys said, because basically you are absolutely right that glow stools and ratch rooms should be easily growable inside a hydroponics without a sun lamp. But well, I can't try before researching hydroponics. And since we're already that far down the road with the multi-analyzer, I didn't want to cancel that now. Okay. Beyond that, we're crafting ourselves some clothes here. That's really, really good. This is money. This is progression. And... Well... Let's see. How do I want to wrap this up? Well, we're not going to see how we wrap anything up. We're being attacked by the by some tribes people. Six people against us. That's uh, I'm pretty surprised that they come in such low numbers. But, well, I don't care if they come in such low numbers. We're just going to open the gates for them and await them. And there's a bulk goods trader incoming, but that's a trade ship. Okay. So Minyoka can just uh, stay wherever he wants. It's a he, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Minyoka can stay wherever he wants. Doesn't really matter. Cervexa is wounded. Why? Oh, that's why it's only six people, because it's mutants. With mutants, you gotta be really careful. Mutant brain. Deformed lung, scaly skin, plus 70% sharp armor. Wow. That's quite a lot. And they don't even try to come this way. Okay, so that means we really have to change our defenses and get ourselves some kill killing area, which works in this zone here. Yeah, now, now we got a open door, they immediately come towards us. So, Minyoka, aren't you, weren't you a tough person? Haha, <laughs> you, you poor, you poor you. Well. Okay, I was, uh, that was, it's not working out, all right. Well, he's going to break through the marble wall any moment anyways, so don't really care about uh, 
losing a, a patch of marble wall here. Get him, boys! All right. The last three of them are taking a very, very strange route here. Okay, they're they're already fleeing. Okay, Hogan, can you? Ah, he's already building it. Nice. It's that blueprints over mountain rock. Okay. Now, low food. It says already again. Man. Okay, let's fix that. I really, really want to fix that immediately. But at least our enemies were friendly enough to bring us fresh camp fuel, you know. Could be worse. Okay, hello Mr. Bulk Goods Trader. Bulk Goods Traders are awesome. We can buy practically everything and sell basically everything. So they are very interested in my parkas, of course they are. And also, oh, Voltec painkillers. Mm. So <laughs> Going to sell away all the human leather here. There are so many more important things for us at this point. So, well, I don't know. Do I want to buy extra chem fuel? I mean, how much money would that be? 1,000. Hmm. Vault Tech Meals. Well, Eltex Vests. A crown? We don't need that wood we don't need that either we are really not that uh short on wood in general but their medicine definitely gonna buy all their medicine handful of painkillers i think that's a wise choice to have and then there's components advanced components well let's start buying advanced components doesn't really hurt does it and oh yeah plus steel haha -ha! Multi-analyzer. Good thing that I thought about that. Almost forgot it. And, well... Oh god. Yeah, so... Spaceship trading is bugged here. It doesn't... It doesn't work. It's a shame. <laughs> oh my god, no! Is there anything like a reward spot or something like that? No. Okay, so... I need to stop troll myself and uh, accept that there are no spaceships trading with us. That really did hurt though. To sell away my stuff and don't get anything in return. That really, really hurts. Oh, man. No. Yeah, inspired trade. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, that means we're only interested in trade caravans. Got it. Oof. That's pretty brutal. Especially since I lost now a really, really big amount of resources just for no good reason at all. <sighs> well, let's not ponder about that. Things don't come back by pondering about it. We'll just uh, accept the fact that this form of trade is doomed here. We can't do it. We can't do that. So let's build ourselves a new chem fuel generator, shall we? Yeah, I'm so sad about you guys. So I'll just ignore that. We're going to deactivate the comms console totally, and the orbital trade beacon can also be deconstructed. I just I don't even want to be uh, tempted a another time. You know, I'm done with that. <laughs> so we're low on food. It says. Let's change that. 
Oh my god. I lost so much money. Well, I know I didn't want to ponder about it anymore. There will be new trade caravans for sure. And to some degree, I feel like it's a uh, interesting, interesting change to have to work like that. But, well, I hope the devs will fix that at some point because it really doesn't feel too fun. There we go. Starting to hunt everything now because we're just able to stockpile all these materials and there's no such thing as too much food. Oh, that guy is looking for some, some victim. I can tell. Or does he? Well, let's go for some night hunt. There we go. Let's order Minyoka to haul the first part of the hunt. We're just strong enough now to tackle down whatever we want here. This is all not really a problem anymore. Feels good, man. Feels really, really good. This makes me very, very optimistic for the future. So we're going to build us doors and such now. This corridor here will be widened. And then, well, let's just declare that into a massive stockpile zone for now. And I'll just deconstruct a piece of wall here and put up a door in there. And then we can beautify this whole situation bit by bit. All right, on the other side of the map. Oh yeah, I see an ascetics chamber. We're going to make it really small. I leave the back wall raw because that's how they like it. And yeah, small room, just a bed, not too much stuff. It's going to work fine. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, Indulgent Beetle Import Company. So there was yet another intergalactic trader there. Man. Take that, spiders. This. Take that. Spiders are replenishing our stockpiles of thingies, so <laughs> chem fuel. There's an army of little rats here. Want to turn them into food. way too valuable not to pick them up. So I really need a new gun for Minyoka. Let's see, did these fools drop something? Something like a recurve bow maybe? Yeah, here we go. It's better than nothing. I don't like recurve bows too much, but before I got no bows at all. Alright. We're making so good progress now. Really, really happy. 
So let's put up walls here. So who was the, the ascetic again? Fleeby? Yeah, Fleeby. Okay. Then let's reinstall the bed here. Well, I guess I will even leave the, the stone chunks in there because they are inherently ugly. And, you know, my people like it this, this way. So heat stroke while loving. That's good. Okay. <laughs> There's a mole. Are you kidding me? So today I really want to stockpile up as much as possible. Because we're just that needy and in that much of a good position right now. That I really want to force in as much profit as possible right now. More. Very good. Oh, it tricked a, it triggered a trap. Well, fine. Don't you dare calling that low amounts of food. Haha. <laughs> so, let's assign that to Fleeby. Because the commons were absolutely right. We have to re we have to change things up a little bit here. Irradiated mega spider yet again get those so often by now. Oh, there's the next rad. They really like to hang around here. No, where are you mining? Ah, uh, of course, the steel vein. Steel is also very important for us here at this point. We're growing so fast. So, how's Fleeby's research going? Intellectual 15. Nice. So, since my power resources are looking that good... Oh, bad temperature inside there. Hmm, okay, I see. Well, that's the Jugus heat, but if they need some cooldown, they can go into the freezer. It's totally okay. Don't need to be that worried about heat strokes. Overall, your colonists equal heat strokes out on their own, as long as you have a room that's that has access to climatization, basically. It's at least how I have uh, seen it happen all the time. Okay, well, guess that works eaten up now. Mega Spider's got a hearty appetite. Okay, so we're going to go for yet another hunt. Oh, Hogan is not with them, but, well, that turned out not to be a problem at all.
Okay, two bears should be enough for one run. Two bears and a rad. Okay. I guess I'll start smelting in old weapons from our enemies soon. As, uh, as soon as I feel like I am able to... Like I'm able to bring up the necessary power constantly. Okay, it's now an awful room. Wonderful. Fleeby is happy, isn't he? Ascetic has awful bedroom. Wonderful. We're still heat stroking here, which is a small problem, but compared to what we had, so the problems we had before, we never have been better before, basically. Okay, so let's carve out this unruly mountain somehow and make something neat out of it. I'd say we'll go for something like that. A party! Wonderful. Yay, the multi-analyzer. I'm going to start out with hydroponics next. So we can't build the multi-analyzer yet, can't we? Yes, because we don't have the necessary plus steel. Curses. Okay. So while our dudes and dudettes are partying, let's see if I can spend buy out some compact, compacted plus steel deposit. I mean, there's so much mountain on this map. We might have already saw, uh, have it on the screen, had it on the screen so many times. And I didn't notice. I see plenty of steel deposits and plenty of, uh, Wild animal corpses. We struck Malachite. Where? Okay, here. Nice. That's some corner we will definitely dig out sooner or later. So I have a certain hope that I'll find some plasteel here in the vicinity. There's Laramar. I already assumed that. Too blue for for a gemstone. Uh, for plasteel. Oh, it doesn't look like we get that lucky. Alright, so without Plasteel, I can't really progress into the multi-analyzer techs. But at least we got it researched now, I'd say. <laughs> Nope. Sadly not. Okay. At least we can now research at two tables at once, which makes a huge progress at this point. And, well, hydroponics. We can do... See how much room do we need? We could do our hydroponics in there in that area. Let's see where would be another good area here, but we want to do our living areas here or here. Oh, yeah, I like that one. So, let's chop out that room and see how well it goes. Well, I cancel out these B 
building orders here. Because they don't really make sense. But having some hydroponics running will be extremely useful for our cause. Hogan's Acolyte Ceremony. Well, as much as I would want to, but I don't see that Hogan is already able to receive the proper treatment here. Let's haul these away. I can't see the proper borders of that thing. And we are on low food again. Man, uh, we need so much food on s with six people now. That's for sure. But one thing is making re me really happy. I noticed that my... Um, my first heal, heal shrooms were done. And my first... Uh, patch of Angel Strand came through too. So we now have a little bit of cloth. And I want to replace these now with glow stools. Immediately. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got the res we got the hydroponics done finally. Okay, so onwards to Glosh Room. Also, I think we can delete this uh, zone here soon. I don't dare to yet, because I'm afraid that we might need it in the near future, but we won't. So let's take a break from our daily routine and smack some spiders and wargs. Wait a sec, that's uh, by now a daily routine as well. So, problem about the situation now is that there are two enemies at once. Oh no, it's getting close. I was already afraid that this might happen, but... It wasn't that horrible. Okay, let's do this. Wait, that's not for the spider. This is for us. Get away, you filthy. Okay. Oh, we are out of research projects. So we got that also done. Now, we need power conduits. And then we'll have our first experiment. Because it's all about the question whether or not the mod creator has allowed to plant glosh rooms and rat rooms in hydroponics. So... Yes, we can do that. All right. They got a very low fertility sensitivity, but that doesn't uh, matter. What does matter is the fact that I don't need to put up a own sun lamp for that, I think. Yeah. Hooray! They're growing! Oh man. Thanks, guys, for bringing up this idea of doing it like that, because I gotta admit... I don't think I would have uh, came up with this idea myself, so thanks for thanks for that one. Really, really handy. So we now have access to lots of veggies as soon as this whole ordeal is through. We're going to have access to lots and lots of veggies because I don't need to invest the power into the sun lamp. 
I can invest all the power we got into hydroponics. And that's the clue. Because that means we can we can just uh, go crazy with uh, our amounts there. Take it down. There we go. Our chem fuel reserves are better than ever. Very good. And while you're playing some hoop stones, you find an irradiated rad sprawl squealing around your our premises. Get out the rifle, take it down, do some pest control. I love it. Oh, wait a sec. This is just... Oops. This is just uh, obscene, you know. Alright. All birds, you're allowed to hunt that thing. Yeah, whatever. We're, we're going home now. I don't want to overstress it. Except for the mole asking for a beating. Well, we didn't get it. Anywho, I guess they are running for that meal or something like that. It's time to say goodbye for today. It's been my pleasure, my friends. We are really, really getting somewhere. I do like the new setup here. It will take some time until we have established everything. I'm also considering doing a certain sorting procedure there. I'm not sure about it yet. But we're going to see how that works out. Oh, that door was bad. Because, you know, I have the idea to leave this room here open as expansion for the freezer. So, end of today's episode. We are now at the verge of constructing our first noble areas. Because I feel like we got all the necessary things. We got resources, we got replenishing amounts of food. We can just smack this room full with hydroponic banks and uh, grow our mushrooms there. Good stuff. Drop your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up on that video if you did like the show. It helps me a ton. And also feel free to drop a subscription on my channel where I do daily videos. So turn on those notifications and you won't miss any future content from my side. Also check out my description below, uh, the description of the video below where you'll find my Discord server where you'll find a really really nice community of people and I'm also hanging around there every day so if you want to get in touch I'd be more than happy if you did. Alrighty also check out the links down there for financial support because this whole video project does free content so tips and direct support are more than vel welcome and yeah enough of the advertisement let me thank you one more time for watching this video this means a lot to me and catch you guys next time bye bye